we got our Portuguese residency. We did it. Finally. <laughs> yeah, it was... It's been the most lengthy, frustrating, stressful process. And we just had no idea going in that it would be like this. Um, the whole reason we needed it, if you haven't been following along, is that we intend to be spending the next year in the Mediterranean traveling Europe. And in Europe they have Schengen. Schengen is basically it's a, treaty. a yeah. treaty. It's a bunch of laws that would keep us from traveling in uh, most European countries for more than 90 days at a time. Yeah, so the, the way it works is you get 90 days in, 90 days out, and then you can come back for 90 days again. So that's literally, you get to be there three months, you leave for three. You come back for three, you leave for three. And many cruisers do that. But yeah, because that's the easiest way. We don't have the time to do that and also see all of the countries we want to see. And... We don't have the means for that either, and it's just we can't leave the boat somewhere and go travel somewhere else. It's just yeah. it's too much. So we, we thought, okay, let's go the residency route. If we get a visa in Portugal, then we we're have Portuguese a Schengen. Yeah. We have a Schengen residency, which means we're kind of temporary citizens of Schengen. And we began this process in December. Of twenty eighteen. And it is May twentieth, twenty nineteen. We've been through so many problems. We've been to the actual physical embassy in D.C. to talk with the consulate three times. Yeah, emails and phone calls and everything. And it, it's felt like every time we talk to them... We'd go backwards. Yeah, we'd go backwards, <laughs> and the information they'd give would be just off the wall. And then later we'd get, like, completely opposite information from them. And it, it was just this... It was a mess. The worst part of it was when the guy came knocking on our boat telling us oh. that we had applied for a work, work visa, visa for Flores. Flores. And I'm like... That was the worst part. We're not even on that island. Like, we can't have a work visa because we're not doing work. Like, yeah. it was so awful. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, well, he's like, you're approved for the work visa. You just don't work, so you don't qualify. And I'm thinking at that point, like... What I'm doing, like YouTube, I'm like, this is a job. Sure. That's my work yeah. visa. Sure. Like, I'll take the work visa if YouTube, and it's fine. Cause he was like, YouTube, YouTuber is not an accepted, an accepted career. career in Portugal. And we yeah, like, so it's like, all right. Well, we didn't even apply for a work visa. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, sorry, man. I'm just trying to make it work. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, my gosh. Well, it's been insane. Actually, yeah. And we were also dealing with, at the same time, the CEF agents in a the Azores. And they yeah. were actually very helpful. Yeah, uh, like, Carla is amazing. If you mm -hmm. are going to go the residency route, go to Tercera, go in Angra, and Carla works at the CEF office in Angra, and she is the best. If you do do the residency route, most people will end up with a residency visa for four months, and which you then need to renew every four months. We get to bypass all of that because we actually got a full year of Schengen residency. And no limitations no on limitations. how many you, times you can enter and leave. Like So I don't know how yeah. we did this. I don't know how it... Maybe she just got tired of getting emails from us. <laughs> Um, but it worked, and for us, what this means is that we are now free to continue our trip. We can now cross the rest of the ocean, and then when it comes time to go into the Mediterranean, we can do so, check into any country we want in Schengen or out of Schengen, and be welcome. <laughs> it's just... It was such a nightmare. Now, you might be wondering, why did we even pursue this nightmare route? And it really comes down to the fact that we were working on the boat, and the boat was in the Azores. So the thought of we could work for three months and leave for three months, that that literally meant that we double the time the repairs took. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it, it wasn't going to happen. So we needed to be there more than the time allotted. So then we needed residency. <sighs> Man. And traveling throughout the countries with Schengen and everything. Yeah. I, it was just the only route that really made sense to us and so you know i i just this has been a terrible process but i'm so thankful that it's finally completed and we can continue our journey east 
we're going to just milk it for all it is, you know. It's, we're going to take advantage of every minute we have in Europe and just enjoy ourselves and hopefully give you guys as much amazing footage as we can. The VAT tax is a whole nother story, so, but we're yeah. not going to talk about it in this video. If you'd like to know what we're doing about the VAT tax, feel free to email us. We've got our email in the description down below. Um, yeah, the VAT tax, it's, that's a whole nother headache. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's another monster uh, that we don't feel like getting into, but we're happy to share with you what we did um, about the VAT tax if, if you're interested. But we will say that as of right now, we have not and hopefully will not have to pay the VAT tax. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, it's just, it's been this long, crazy ordeal, and it's finally done. Apparently, Portugal is the easiest country to get residency in. That's and, what we've heard. Yeah, and this nightmare. So I can <laughs> only imagine what it is for the other countries. Like Yeah, I don't know. So, oh. um... But... Yeah. I don't know if you if you need it get it but if you can avoid it if you're a cruiser oh. and you or you know cruisers who went another route we'd love to hear about that I know yeah. we've asked this before but like I'm really genuinely curious how people cruise the Mediterranean um, without having to leave every 90 days so if you know of anything I mean this is gonna work great for us we're so happy it's it's done it's gonna work we're good but if there's another way, I'm, I'm really genuinely curious to know. Mm -hmm. um, or if anybody's done this, too, I'd, and, I'd love to hear about uh, it. Yay! We're going to go to sleep. Now. Yeah, all the stress is lifted, and I'm, I'm tired. So, night, guys. Night! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.